we're going to cover what's called the rectangular coordinate system. Sometimes it's called the Cartesian plane or the XY plane, but basically it's created by intersecting a horizontal and a vertical number line. So let's see what that would look like. I would just take a horizontal number line and a vertical number line. This is very approximate. And this forms a plane. It looks like it's on a flat piece of paper. So the horizontal number line is called the horizontal axis, and we label it the x-axis, and so we just write x. So basically there's going to be an x-axis. That's the word I'm using. And the vertical number line is called the y-axis. So we have an x-axis and a y-axis. One is horizontal, one is vertical. Where they intersect in the middle here, I'm going to put with a red dot, is going to be called the origin. So that number where they intersect in the middle is called the origin. Also notice there are really four regions broken up by these two number lines, and we, are, we say there are four quadrants. All right, so we're going to have four quadrants, and we call this one up in the upper right one, quadrant one, and we use the Roman numerals for quadrants, and it goes in this counterclockwise position. So we have quadrant one, quadrant two over here, all the points over here will be quadrant three, and points over here will be quadrant four. So imagine you've got a plane, which means like a flat piece of paper, and there are points that could be anywhere in that plane. And depending on where I put a point, it might be in one of the quadrants. It might be on one of the axes, either the x-axis or the y-axis, or it might be the origin, which is right in the center and is on both axes. Now, normally what you want to do is put some little tick marks so we know there's some sort of a numbering system here. Although it goes on forever, notice the arrow. So this would be one, two, three. I'll just label that that's where four is. That lets you know that this is one, two, three, and four. And you should always put at least one number on each number line. I like to put one on each side, positive and negative. And let's do it on the y-axis as well. We have up four and down four. Later what I'll do is I'll use a um, a picture where it's a little bit more accurate. But for now, I'm just creating a picture of the rectangular coordinate system. Every single point in the plane, wherever you put it, so for instance, let me put a point right here. I'm going to call that point A. It could be represented by what we called an ordered pair. So the key thing to notice here are these two words. There's the word order and there's the word pair. So there's going to be some order and there are going to be two things. And an ordered pair looks like this. It's got a parenthesis, some number, which I'll just call x for now, and some other number, which I'll just call y for now, and another parenthesis, and there's a comma between them. The first number represents what we call the x-coordinate, and the second number represents the y-coordinate. So if I were going to state what A is, that tells me how would I get to A by stating how far left or right on the X coordinate I have to go to get there and then how far up or down I have to go to. The first coordinate tells you how far you have to go left or right. The second coordinate tells you how far to go up or down. So let's see, if I started here at the origin and I wanted to get over to that point A, what would I be doing? I would be going over, let's see, three spaces to the right. Oops, I did not want to put an arrow here. Three spaces to the right. So I went three spaces to the right. So that tells me if I were going to write this coordinate, the first coordinate would be three. And then I would have to go up one space. The second coordinate would be one. If you're going in the positive direction, it'll be positive, and if you're going in the negative direction, it will be negative. So the coordinate A has has um, ordered pair three comma one, and we read this simply as three one. You simply say the first number and say the second number. 
How about if I asked you where the ordered pair negative 3, 4 is? Okay? So I want to find out where that is. So I start at the origin right in the center. And the first number is negative 3. That says in the, in the horizontal direction go left 3 spaces because of the negative sign. So I go 3 spaces to the left. And then I'm going to go in the y direction positive 4. That means up. So I'm going 3 to the left, up 4. And that's my ordered pair, negative 3, 4. So there's infinitely many ordered pairs on the rectangular coordinate system or on the xy plane. And you should be able to tell the ordered pair by looking at a point. And you should also, by looking at an ordered pair, be able to put the point on the coordinate system. Sometimes, look at this point, negative 3, 4. If somebody told you um, to graph that on the coordinate system, you might say, well, if it's negative and it's the first number, you could say, well, oh, I know I'm going to go to the left. And since the next number tells you whether to go up or down, it's positive, you can go up. So this is a little thing you can do for yourself as you get started to remind yourself the direction. So now it's your turn. I want you to plot these points on the coordinate system and label each point with the letters. So you're going to plot the points A, B, C, D, E, F, and G as shown. And also, notice I've labeled some points, H, I, J, K, L, M, and N. I'd like you to write those as ordered pairs. So put the video on pause and see how you do. A is 2, 3. So starting at the origin, we have to go 2 to the right and then 3 up. And that will be our point A. For B, it's a tricky one. It says go 0 left or right. So you stay right where you are. And then you go down 4 for the negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's our point B. For C, we've got 5, 0. So we're going to go 5 to the right and 0, do not go up or down. So notice B is on the y-axis and C is on the x-axis. So that if one of the coordinates is 0, you're either going to be on the x-axis or the y-axis or in the case of G where they're both 0, that's going to be right at the origin. So G will end up being right here. H. What ordered pair is H? I want to get to H. So I'd have to start at G, the origin, and I have to move to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's to the left, that'll be negative 5. And then I've got to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up 7 spaces, that's positive. And that's how I would get H. And then similarly, you would do this for all of the points. All right, this graph shows all the solutions. For A through G, notice what I've done. I've drawn little arrows above the x-coordinate or the y-coordinate based on whether they were positive or negative to show if you're going to, starting at the origin, move left or right for the x-coordinate or up or down for the y-coordinate. You can do that as well. And go ahead and check to see that your graph looks exactly the same, that you placed A through G in the same spots I did, and then also see if you wrote the ordered pairs correctly for H through N. All right, let's make another observation. If we're looking at the graph here, do you notice anything about order pairs on the y-axis? Is there a special format? So for instance, let's pick a point on the y-axis, like right here. This would be, what, 0, 3. And how about this ordered pair right here down at the bottom? This would be 0, negative 3. And then you might think about what it would be for some other ordered pairs and see if you see anything common to all of them. And hopefully you notice that the x value, the x coordinate, is always 0. And then the y-coordinate, well, that depends how far up or down you're going on the y-axis. But the, for the x-coordinate, you're not moving left or right, so the x-coordinate will always be 0. What do you think it's going to be for the 
On the x-axis, is there a special format for all ordered pairs? I'll give you a hint, it's similar. So think about if you picked some ordered pairs on here, what's common to all of them? And hopefully, you realize that the y value will always be zero, the y coordinate, because you're never going to go up or down. So all ordered pairs on the y axis, the x coordinate zero, just the opposite of you might think. On the y axis, you put in zero for x, and on the x axis, you put in zero for y.